<laughs> so, can, can, can I be a dragon? Let, yeah, let, let, let's start getting into some features oh, here and what oh, Dragonflight no. means for you as well as just a place. Um, so first off, yes, we have an all new playable race, the Drakthir race. Yeah. Uh, this is a <laughs> dragon, a draconic race. Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the World of Warcraft Dragonflight announcement. I also know that Wrath of the Lich King Classic was announced. I think we all knew that was coming. I played World of Warcraft for 16 years and I had a lot of fun in Wrath of the Lich King, the original version. I know some people might say that was where the game started to die, but with all my friends and everything, I had a great, great time. I even got my own Frostmorn. There it is, here. Some people might have never seen it in the background, but it's always there. Also my BlizzCon 13, cute but deadly <laughs> collection, whatever. I was such a huge Blizzard fan and I only quit last year when all the controversy came up. And I had to farm Kothia for six hours a day, every day for over 30 days and haven't even finished everything or rather collected everything because I'm a huge collector. I like to get my stuff done and I just thought that there wasn't enough fun in the game. The game was just very stale, very, yeah. You all know it, I think most of you know it. So let's go ahead, let's look at it. I'm very excited, I hope it will be good. I, I really, really hope it will be good. I want to play again with some of my friends, but uh, let's just see what the future holds, shall we? Let's go. Uh, Legion, I miss Legion. All the cinematics mesh together, huh? Daddy the Nephilus. Shattering the sky. For the Alliance! What the Warcraft 3? Yeah. Blizzcon. The sea. There it is. I played PC Classic for a while. For Azeroth! Not for too long. Game stale, sadly. Hi everyone, Hi. I'm John Height, General Manager for Warcraft, and with me yes. today are my friends Ian yes. Hazakostas, who is the Game Director for World of Warcraft, and Holly Longdale, who leads up the production team for WoW Classic. There it is. I really appreciate you tuning in. I know we're really excited to be able to give you updates on what's happening in World of Warcraft. But first, I want to thank our community for all the feedback you've given us this year, and especially our community council. You've helped shape and influence the updates that we've done recently and what you're going to see in the upcoming year. I mean, really, for Shadowlands in particular, the story of the last nine months or so of, of this expansion is all great. about the community, and it's shaped by what we've been hearing from them and us realizing as a team that we just collectively needed to do a better a job bit of making sure the community felt heard and so that led us to the changes we made in 915, but also really re-examining some of the yeah. assumptions and foundations of World of Warcraft about things like character investment and mains versus alts, or how catch-up should work, or the appropriate role of friction in our systems. Yeah, that was and pretty busted. 915 represented a step in the direction of letting players have more freedom to play World of Warcraft the way they want to play it, and we really built our Eternity Zen content update from the ground up around I those principles. It, so what are some of the things that the community man, said that, that no, influenced Julie your decisions be. for Eternity's in? Things like the method and pacing of acquisition of the Covenant legendary item, tons of tuning, and I think every step of the way, um, we were listening to make sure that we were carrying forward those lessons learned in the course of 915 into Eternity's End and beyond. So WoW Classic yeah. was really came about because of the community. Yeah, they continue to the help guide and support us WoW as Classic, classic evolves. World of Warcraft has always been cool. about the world and the players that inhabit it. it was, yeah, and it very we are in a lot of ways curators and caretakers mm -hmm. of that journey so and of that experience. And so once this classic community 
formed but in BC and grew, it just died for we had to listen to that. Died. It's this tide of listening to the community exactly. and paying attention to what is a good experience for our players now. Um, and where we really saw a sea change in this idea is with our Season of Mastery round, which is a season yeah, nobody of fresh plays start that. classic. <laughs> nobody plays that. Initially we were that. talking about it's it like so it was dead. going to be like a fresh start. Yeah, Let's so try dead. this experiment in a season. It'll be about a year They should long. have done and way more changes. And then when the community changes, found out about it, we started so seeing this upswell. Nobody yeah, cares. the team just took that idea and ran with it yes. and turned you know, what started out as a small community project mm -hmm into this soul of iron system that became a centerpiece of <laughs> season cared. of mastery in a whole new like opt-in hardcore mode that we've seen communities built around i think yeah. lots the of biggest you know, servers have like thrilling victory and players. painful defeat <laughs> five, like hours. Or so. I mean, five hours made it five hours nothing yeah and it continues like burning crusade classic we wanted to balance the paladin Some seals between horde and alliance so we made an addition place. there we wouldn't have gotten there without the community's input so influence the community, you've got another update and pretty significant controversial change for this. Yeah, cross-faction play uh, coming coming in 925. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, so excited for that one. Uh, a big <laughs> Ian, I had to make yep. two characters to play with, with some of my friends in horror. Yeah, some of, it was of not an easily made the decision. The rating is garbage. You know, and I think this is another one of those areas so, so where really we try to take to heart community feedback and requests and ask like ourselves as a team every whether there's single a way radar went to hard. accommodate such an earnestly held desire and still feel like we're being true to the to the roots of the game. You know, the players desire to play oh, with Panda. their friends who might prefer a different faction or to play with the Panda faction that they more class closely identify was with, so nice. even though their ray group is elsewhere. It's really important for me. I play Casting a lot of alts and I love warlock, absorbing the story for big. each race. And Having that ability to play with all of my so friends good. across factions is fantastic. It. At the end of the day, the battle cry is for the Horde. It's not against the Alliance. It's not death to the Alliance. <laughs> against the Alliance. It's about, about pride that. in one's faction. And I think there's a way to preserve the that story, and strengthen that while giving players yeah, you know, the ability to make the same choice. We teamed up so many times and then time we, we started again. fighting I each other. I can't wait to do this. I'm no seeing sense. a lot of my friends that I never knew had a max level character in the other faction suddenly come out of the woodwork. And then I you know, knew with these, this, these cross faction groups, many because of them are going to be diving into something new that we're doing annoying. to kind of cap off Shadowlands. A season four, uh, kind of a remix, a little bit, a bit of a greatest hits, revisiting our, all of our raids on the cross plus expansion, bringing in some familiar, be cool. older so favorites all the together. Mythic plus rotation. And you know, we recognize this is kind of a, well, a if it's closing chapter, rating. a little bit of a send off to Shadowlands. As everyone gets ready for what happens next, what will come next, yeah, show me wants to next, give you know, a fun new show challenge me. for everyone to sink their teeth into. Really cool stuff for for Modern WoW players. I'm super excited about the gear upgrades that you're gonna give me and the chance to go back and play some of those, those awesome raids. There's a show lot me. to explore, very exciting. For our next adventure in World of Warcraft, yeah. we're gonna go back to Azeroth. Yeah, dragons. Well, no one expected that one, huh? With high fantasy. I mean, our fans have asked for this for a long Not time. Leaked this has been kind of the foundation of much of the lore of WoW. Okay, boss. So, without further four ado, so. let's watch the cinematic. Oh, there it is. Let's go. Okay. Ten thousand years ago, it was. So the world has been so yeah, there it is. And, uh, I suppose the war of the range is right. It's called something like that. We must go to its aid. We entrust our ancestral home to you, the Watchers. Watchers. Now is it, is it here? I think Tia was intertwined with uh, the Dragon Law. Let the land slumber, hidden even from our own eyes. The Greek influence is so hardcore. You will feel our return in the waking of the land. But where are the dragons then, though? You must only light the beacon of Tear hold, lest the path it. home be lost to us. Forever. Show me, show me. Oh, 
just skipped 10,000 years, uh, I guess. Just a little sleep. Here we go. <laughs> okay, he got wrecked? I guess. I guess. Next one also dead. See the last one standing? Oh, that reminds me of the the huge hole in Storm Peaks. Something like that is down there, I guess. That can't be Tear, right? If he's dead, I guess. Oh. I thought he died in Tears Fall. Maybe it's just so. Cinematic people without names. Ah, oh, didn't work. Let's break. Pretty confused where are the dragons. It's just only Titan stuff going on. It's super cool though. Got it. Fixed. Uh, bye. No, not stone friend. Alexstrasza, I didn't get that. Oh, I'm stupid. Together, that one. We go. shall be Azeroth's protectors once again. All the Here's the new age of dragons shall begin. Sure, sure, Alex. not 100% sure. I will continue soon. Um, I'm not 100% sure but I should think about that. I, it, it was a good video. Yeah, it was a good video. And it's just a cinematic so I will see what's coming. But as for cinematic, uh, for me it wasn't one of the best. It, I don't know where exactly I would put it but it's pretty low on the cinematic scale. I, I like the, the Greek influence, the Titan stuff, but I think for cinematic and for Blizzard standards, so Bot Cinematic, Wrath of the Lich King Cinematic, Legion, this one is uh, pretty weak on that side, but I'm still optimistic for the game, so okay, I'm kind of on the Opium, copium, you know what I mean. But let's see what the game brings. But for cinematic, I, I thought it was okay, but not one of the best. So let's see. 
Dragons! Dragons. This is so yep. cool. Dragons. No one saw it coming. <laughs> no one saw it coming. Yeah. Carefully kept secret. But seriously, <laughs> I mean, what did we just see there? What wasn't data the awakening the of the Dragon Isles. Ten years. The return of dragons. The dawn of a new age. Right, we've seen Rathian searching for his father's oh, legacy. Rathian. Searching for the Dragon Isles. There's a reason why he hasn't been able to find them until now. The beacon going off, is that summoning really the dragons? It is removing the I concealment and hidden the Dragon Isles from the world, but also getting the dragons back urgently in me. a time of need. I assume pretty good variety of locales within the Dragon Isles? It's yes. The Dragon Red Isles, Boost as and kind of standard for WoW expansion, consist of five zones, four standard leveling zones, and a new starter zone that we'll get to in a second. Can you Four talk a little bit zones. about how the team found ways to thread the oh, dragon little... aspects throughout the environment? Less than usual. The, the Dragon Isles are a place that is lush and primal, bursting with elemental energy. As Azeroth so. herself reawakens, those primal forces are expressed throughout the environment, whether it's magma activity, volcanic activity, I thought you it's the icy wastes of the Azure Span. And each one of those has a connection to Ooh, a dragon fight else. that we've seen oh, before. Something like and it's going to be an amazing yes. place for players to arrive at and explore. All right, you know so I'm going to ask. <laughs> yes, okay, so. Can, can, can I be a dragon? Let, yeah, let, let, let's start getting into some features <laughs> here and what oh, dragon flight means for you as well as just a place. Um, so first off, yes, we have an all new playable race, the Drakthir race. Yeah. Uh, this is a dragon, a draconic race, but dragons in, in Warcraft looks... have the ability to take on a humanoid yeah. form. What classes yeah, could they, looks be? Kinda they stupid. have unique abilities as literally a dragon. That doesn't quite Should. fit any of our existing classes. <laughs> yeah. And so yeah. what we're doing is this is not just a new race, but it's okay. also a new class. You know, adding a new race to World of Warcraft and not just that an ally race is broken. something we don't do lightly, but telling this expansion just this story around is so super focused speed, around dragons stuff. felt like the perfect time for it. So if you were a Drakthir, but you will Warlock be still the can't move class. with half speed Drakthir and cast. Drakthir can only be evokers, oh, evokers can only be Drakthir. I guess. And the reason why only a Drakthir could be an evoker is that an evoker is really combining so the ability the to class call upon the magic the of the different aspects with the unique physical gifts yeah, I'm that not against it. I, I don't really plan on playing it. Do an Anixia style strafing deep what? breath over Are the you kidding field, me? land on the other it side, like, knock everyone back with a wing buffet. And then unleash your magical yalms? abilities. Yes, please. And the dragon breath on top of that. <laughs> the evoker has two specializations. They're a hybrid broken. of either range DPS or healer. And they wear male armor. We figured, oh, you know, okay, with okay. the new hero classes, classes we've added over the so years, basically we have we're enough melee, we don't need hunters. more of those. And also probably don't need any more, any more leather wearers. The raid leaders are going to love you for that. <laughs> exactly. This is definitely a hero class. And so that means that, you know, that like the Death Knights before them or Demon Hunters, they will be Actually starting level 58. And then they're going to have a new starter zone. So they're going to have a slightly different journey into the Dragon Isles okay. as opposed to the rest of us that are sailing there from other parts of Azeroth. Can you talk a little bit about the customizations? Like what is going to be able to identify uh, I'm my pretty sure after death, uh, Basically death Knight, anything and everything. Never meant you know, anything skin again. color, hair color, jewelry, tattoos, uh, other adornments. You can make this character um, the expression human of Human versions are even worse. New zone. What is new this? New class. Yep. New race. Well, tell us about some of the, the system updates. Yeah. Or I'm not a fan of, of the course, race. A new expansion brings with it you know, new broken, systems, though. new features. I think in recent expansions, one of the things we've tended to do is really have these deep features that were closely tied to a specific expansion that would then get left behind as we moved on. Mm -hmm. And we've heard loud and clear from players that, you know, it's kind of a bummer to start off every new expansion by leaving a large part of your character behind, by leaving a large part of your progression behind. So this time around, what we're doing is really pouring all of our energy into Bold. permanent revamps, overhauls, and improvements some to World of Warcraft's notes. core yeah. systems. Things like our progression systems, in this case, our talent system, is something that we want to completely revamp. We want to take a look at our UI. We want to take a look at professions. UI. So with the talent revamp and the arrival I mean, of Classic, did you learn anything about change. how our talents work? I think seeing a new generation of players play with those talents and work through those talent trees really underscored some of the things that, frankly, we lost mm -hmm. when we shifted to the Mists of Pandaria-style talent talents trees? and beyond. A big piece of that was some of just the granularity yeah, of the feeling like of getting a level and spending a point to customize your character to make yourself a bit better in some specific way. But I like also, the old you know, it was the, so that happy sense of hybridity that you can have. Those. That's Even something that we've largely lost. Stuff, and so the still... new talent system avoids oh, directly so hitting 
player power throughput choices that, directly against those sort of utility hybrid choices because we know that there's always a right outcome there. That looks so cool. And we also understand that you know there's I a lot of strength in the flexibility of the modern talent system. If they bring that back successfully, customize their talents for a particular encounter or for dungeons versus PvP, and we don't want to lose any of that. So John, UI. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got this 30 inch monitor trying to keep track of where I am on the map, all my buffs, and oh, yeah. over here, Nobody what's going has on problem. in chat. The, we have it has literally made my eyes go like this. <laughs> so, yep. you're, and you're not alone in that. We've made a lot of incremental Everybody changes has. and additions over the mm -hmm. years, but really, this is a revamp, this is an overhaul. And so we're excited to really modernize the look and feel while staying true to the origins of mm -hmm. World of Warcraft. Now, at the same time, we're not looking to take away the sort of power user customization there. Add ons yeah. are still there if you want them but we want a much better default out-of-the-box experience for all players, new and old. Okay, I can get can behind I that. reduce elements, remove elements, if I want to explore the world and, and oh, see the beauty me, of Azeroth. What? Let me look at that. What are those? Ah, oh, those, oh no. Those HP bars and stuff, that look horrible. That looks so horrible. I, I like the map, though. Oh, I hope, oh god. I really hope there's a... There's an option for default UI. I, I'm not a big fan of this one. That looks... Oh. I hope you can turn on default UI and just... Just put your add-ons on, you know, for stuff you need. Weak auras, whatever. That, uh, I, I really think the... The character frame and enemy stuff, that looks bad. That looks so ugly. No, I'm not a big fan of that, but... I mean, if it's just an option, I'm fine. Maybe uh, you have uh, more, more uh, customized options than with add-ons too, or it makes add-ons easier to load in, less lag, maybe less broken add-ons after an update. Could be. That, that would be good. But this is all ifs. If, if, if. I mean, like I said, if they, if they have the option to reverse it and just have the default stuff i'm fine with it if not oh, i hope the add-ons will work very fast because that looks not good in my opinion not good when it comes to specific elements as much as possible we want to let players choose what to show and what to hide so that they can control it themselves you mentioned professions i have a critical oh, question about yeah this. They're... go on can I, I mean, they're good for gold making it. in the first <laughs> few weeks, but after Our that, they're pretty useless. Our Dragonflight is really all about delivering on fantasy and identity as a crafter. And so, if you want to be a serious that blacksmith, nice. you want to be a great leather worker, we want you to deliver the ability him. to invest time and energy into that, become a master crafter, be able to make items that are in demand, interact with the community, one sure. of the big pieces that we want to do to support that is a new work order system to have a bit more convenience than just spamming trade work chat all day. System. But if you are someone, you're not yourself a blacksmith, but you have a bunch of mats and you want them forged into a great sword, you can put that work order up, list your mats, offer a commission. Oh, that's a cool idea. And a skilled blacksmith can come along and make you the weapon of your dreams. I think we left out one thing, though. Oh, okay. okay. Be a drag theater, go to Dragon Isles. Can I have I a dragon? I think the What's idea the for the... of dragons, if not soaring over the lands? Stuff? And so oh, we're really excited good. to introduce a feature that we're calling dragon riding. It's dynamic with, you know, everything dragon from ride. momentum to okay. dive bombs, the ability to, you know, just sort of build that speed up and feel the world rushing the past you in a way that flying, should be much more exciting than traditional flight that we've had made available in the past, but that's also available for players through a customizable dragon mount Right from the start. So Customizable. I'm a mount a collector. You That's learn cool. Over time, right, to become an awesome dragon rider. Maybe you can unlock yes, some to, special to stuff from mythic raid bosses. Flight, but you will to have customize. this flight from the start. Yeah, cool. And the dragon companion that you have is, of course, very thoroughly customizable, which is a new <laughs> a new thing for us. <laughs> that for I'm stupid. This is cool. not just a generic dragon that everyone has. But a Drake that is yours. Oh, that's one you of know, those. What do you want its scales uh, to look like? Horns, the shape of, of its head, other attachments, armor pieces, and more. Take your pick. Dinosaur this is so cool. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so the Dragonflight expansion is going to see players leveling to 70, going to the all-new continent of the Dragon Isles, which consists of five zones, 
four standard leveling zones and a new starter zone for Tusker? our Drakthir class, as well as a range of systems revamps, the Tusker such as back? a new talent system, an overhaul and update for UI, really, really and good. an entirely fresh look at the professions, will be good, with more depth than ever before. Also getting around the Dragon Isles is going to come in the form of Dragon Riding, which lets you customize and upgrade your own mount oh, that's so also you can cool. fly, in a sense, from the start. And of course, as with any new expansion, well, we have a new set of dungeons, a raid, big. and much more to come. We also have an alpha that will be starting up no in, in, in the future. Let's Check out go. our website for more information, and keep an eye out for those opt-in signups if you want to help us test out Dragonflight and give us even more feedback to make it better. We do have a deep dive that follows this, so oh, please yeah. we'll look stay at that. around. Classic players, we haven't forgotten about you. You could probably guess where we're yes. going to go next. One of the yes. all-time favorite expansions from World of Warcraft. <sighs> Let's watch the cinematic. Yes, man. I love the... Give it to me. Give it to me. Did you think we had forgiven? Oh, did they remake the trailer? My son, the day you were born, the very forests of Lordaeron whispered the name. Arthas. Arthas. There it is. Oh, I thought that we made a trailer. Oh, Never mind. But it still looked cool though. Sword, going back to the When my days have come to an end, you shall I'll be, be king. king. There it is. Ah, oh, man. I love that. Ooh, 2022? Oh, goddammit. I leveled to 70, uh, but I still got my tier 6. And, and not tier 6. It's just tier incredible, three isn't and it? Tier Shaker. Every time I see the cinematic, I get chills. No pun intended, I do. No, I get chills. As you saw, no Wrath of the Lich whatsoever. King Classic is coming this year. It brings back so many memories. When you see that cinematic, what do you remember from Wrath of the Lich King? Anytime you want to talk about undead frozen dragons, how can you not go back to Sindragosa <laughs> as the source? Yeah. That was the first expansion I played with my youngest son. Mm -hmm. so Sindragosa was an annoying boss fight, though. On that platform, People black always goo fucked it up. and you know Almost chunks so of ice falling off, and and having to repeat that battle oh. with the Lich King. But when we finally down him. It was such an incredible right. moment. He jumped up out of his room, and I jumped up out of my oh. office. We're like, yeah! <laughs> did it. Wrath of the Lich King so back in the day was such a pushover. I hope it will be so a So as you know, with this expansion, you, know? you will, in pre-patch, be able to play the Death Knight. They will start at level 55. I think 55. they cleared the whole content in like three days. To make a Death Knight, so everyone will know. be able to make Wasn't one. Wasn't good. We're excited to give players Wasn't some good. time before Wrath officially launches was so to get geared up easy. and ready to jump in to Northrend with everybody else. And there Especially are the so many zones and areas to explore in Northrend. And I want us to talk about some of our favorites. So for me, Grizzly Hills has a very special place yeah. in my heart. The music was some of the best I've experienced. Uh, a lot of World people love Grizzly Hills. I still Hills. only make my way all the way up to Storm Peaks to try and find the Time Lost Protodrake and have yet to get it. I've got to say Dragonflight. <sighs> the, the wide open nature of the zone, Wormer's yeah. Temple in the center of it. It's an un Time Lost Protodrake, you know? I'm salty about that. There was a period where you could just get it as a team. Where you just could get an invite from a Discord, you, you killed it all together, 40 men, and you, everyone got the mount. And then they took it out of the game. And I was not able to play enough at this time. So basically, I didn't get my Plymouth Protodake. It's one of the few rare mounts um, from the open world that uh, I, I don't have besides obviously pandaria world boss mounts which are just insane but everything else the 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 deep hole mount the void tell and all this i got all the stuff but the time lost proto drake is still god damn it i could buy it for like i think it is like one thousand gold or something like that. I have a few million, like 
15 million or something. But god damn it. Ah, as a collector, that, that really, that, that that got me hard. That they got took it out of the game. Ah, that's, let's just finish it. That's Unforgettable fine. expansion as both a developer and a player I'm and so kind mad. of making that I'm transition so mad from still. one to the other. Now let's talk about some changes. So one thing we looked at is Dungeon Finder, and it feels like how we envision classic, Dungeon Finder is not a good fit for our community. That was kind of the first step that may have eroded so they will take that Dungeon social fabric. Finder out now, of the game. As, as people have gone through the experience of going back one. to vanilla, rebuilding those groups, That's relying a really on each other, big one. not wanting necessarily Most a random people don't participant even remember just to show up and leave. And yep. Yeah, that makes total sense. But of the today, Lich King. you can do that in Shadowlands. You'll be able to do that in Dragonflight. It's a self-selected group of people who specifically want... You know the dungeon? Uh, I'm not sure if it's Anubrakar. Nee, uh, Anubarak is in the dungeon. It's down there under the ice in the Howling Fjord, I guess. So few people knew where this entrance was. You always had to call them over. That will be... Uh, Something else, dude, if you have to do all of that. But this will make dungeon leveling a lot more annoying than it was. Maybe it's not viable then? I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty annoying for dungeon leveling, but for high level stuff, it's pretty good. It's very good, actually. I think so, at least. That different experience, yes. let's make sure that's what we continue to give them. That leads right into arena teams in Burning Crusade Classic. So we listen to the community and we yeah, arena that. teams suck. This individual rating is preferable, I better had experience skull. for them than arena teams. Never mind. Also, <laughs> Never mind. the Lich King, Barbershop, which allows you to customize your Wasn't character. Good. We're going to be adding a few more options that were not existing when Wrath launched. But also there's another side of this where we are not gonna charge a real money fee. It was a paid character customization fee, right? Yeah. It seems the right thing to do that that just be available in game for gold and we add more options to it, right? It's sort of like spell batching in a sense. There's a lot of technical advancements mm. and it's not about the okay, philosophy I guess. what makes classic classic and what yeah, brings people uh, together. It's just what's the The character copy to a original classic realm was enough bullshit. Okay, we don't need we more. A better version of just we don't need more microtransactions like cases. that so for just rest, changing something small. The level cap's being increased to level 80, so we'll be introducing a level 70 boost so that players who want to get in with their friends or just explore North <sighs> Another Grand Another boost, right away I guess. That. I guess you can't so. apply it to a death knight it's, but you it's not great it otherwise. But... and of course we have inscription a whole whatever new profession whatever. so we're really excited about that yeah and as we continue this road to Ralph, I, I we're going to be looking to getting a lot more feedback they decided to put boosts we'll in so that they to. won't stop such an exciting time to be it playing world of warcraft we have the return of the wrath of the lich king for classic fans <sighs> i'm not a fan and but Taking us you somewhere know. new with Dragonflight. We're so excited to be able to bring these adventures to you. Don't forget, there's a deep dive on Dragonflight where you're going to get I a will lot take more a look information. At this in another video, Thank you so but much still, I will for take spending a look this at time it. with us, and we'll see you in Azeroth. And we'll see you in Northrend. And Bye. in the Dragon Isles. Sure. See you then. Bye. So, uh, I guess I haven't seen too much. I, I can't really decide. Dragonflight is still, I don't know, in my head, I, I'm very, very, I don't, not pessimistic, but I wait for the there is that and that and that but moment. The but moment is kind of where I'm looking for, telling us usually in those announcements only great stuff we really like and Stuff that fucks us over comes later, but at least for now, there's no system that we can see that is really, really bad. I guess the dragon flying system could be kind of a dragon riding that could be bad. It really could be if they time gate it, if they lock stuff behind it so that you can fly that high until you got a specific level or uh, speed that you need to cross something or 
Yeah, so unlock stuff to time gate zones and stuff like that. So I'm I'm kind of pessimistic about that. I really don't hope that it will be like that, but you know, we got fucked over so many times already. So so many times. I really don't want them to do it again. You know? For now I I don't know if you even can pre-order it, but I most likely won't pre-order it. I Maybe I get a better invite, maybe not. I will take a look at that. I will inform myself and make a decision. For now, I won't pre-order it like I always did. I really, you know, I think most of us are a lot more cautious about that. We, I, I hope the most people will just look at it, see if they like it, they buy it. If they don't, they don't. Maybe it will be good in the beginning and worse later than you start playing it and then quit. I mean, you know, the first, uh, the first, that's the DLC. You most likely will get your time out of it for the fun. The sub, you can cancel it whenever you want. So if it becomes bad again, you just quit. I played World of Warcraft for 16 years. Like, hundreds and hundreds of hours i have i don't know well easy over a thousand days slash played maybe thousand three hundred i don't know too many okay way way too many and i really hope it will be good i put so much of my life into it but you know there's always that in the back of my head they fucked it up so many times can we really trust them they changed a lot of people working on it so maybe maybe i don't know maybe they can make it better for sure they can and i really hope they will but after quitting last year for the first time i started to look around that's why i made this channel i made this channel to just check out other games stuff i want to play because I was stuck playing World of Warcraft. I only played World of Warcraft. I played very high tier rating. I collected like crazy. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I wasted my time on useless bullshit, okay? Just be honest. Yeah, I wasted my time on useless bullshit. But you only really see that after you quit. Because every achievement on your account becomes worthless. I, I got, I don't know. 1,500 pets. I was close to finishing all of them. I got, I don't know how much, hundreds of mounts. I got all those achievements, those uh, feats of strength, uh, realm first stuff, all of that. And it means nothing after you quit the game. There is no evidence that you ever done anything besides waste your time. And that is... You know, that, that that's sad. I had good times, of course. I, I have to, uh, um, yeah, my, you know, uh, my memories about it, the good times, everything like that. But uh, yeah, whatever. It's too depressing to talk about this, okay? It's too depressing to talk about it. But uh, after I saw this one video from Pint, Whenever he said, uh, it's not all about the loot, it never was. It was about the journey and the people, the friends, the connections, the social aspect around the game. Yes, it really, really is. And I only started feeling that after quitting the game. Because, yeah, all your stuff doesn't matter if you don't play the game. And if the game is dying or you think it's bad and it goes a bad way and it just ends, you know... Whatever, I talked way too long about this. It's a rant. I went off on it. Uh, my thoughts are everywhere. That's just how I feel, okay? That's just how I feel. I really hope it will be bad. I will look at the deep dive. That will be one of the next videos. I most likely will react later and post it up. I don't know when exactly. But yeah, I'm excited i hope it will be good i can't wait to hear more about it and i really hope they will bring it home but for now that is all i can say 
Thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.